This video is for the pet parents that have that one dog who you love dearly, but he's just makes you want to pull your hair out. You can't take him out in public. You feel like you have to put him away when guests come over. He's a great dog when it's just you and the dog. But when other people are around or other dogs are around, let's put it bluntly, he's embarrassing you. I'm here to say you do not have the worst dog in the world. And even if you did, all you have is a dog who's being a dog. So this video is the top three things for you to teach your dog so that people think you have the best dog. Tip number one, teach your dog Zen. I have a video of this on my YouTube channel already, but basically we want to teach your dog that calm behavior makes good stuff happen. So you should do it all the time. Tip number two, teach your dog polite greetings. So that when your dog comes up to someone or when your someone comes up to your dog and says, can I please pet your dog? You say, sure, as long as he sits down. Dog keeps four feet on the floor or gives you a sit. He gets his pet or his pets and pats and belly rubs and everything else, whatever it is that your dog likes. He's getting constant reinforcement for that. People get to greet your dog. People are very impressed by a dog who can greet politely or a dog who can just sit. I took my guy to Lowe's for his gotcha day and the cashier was, he just, she thought he was an amazing dog because he would lie down or he would sit whenever she asked him to sit for a treat and people just love it. And tip number three to work on so people think you have the best dog ever, loose leash walking. I know this is a tricky one. I know this one takes some time and it takes some practice. Watch my loose leash walking video. I have it. I will make a playlist based off of these three things for the best dog ever award. Practice these things and it will make your life so much easier. Are there other things to do with your dog? Yes, of course. But these three are so, so high on the list. If you want a bonus one, practice name and attention. You probably do this a lot without even thinking about it. But name and attention is super duper simple. I'm not sure that I have a video on it, so I'm just going to tell you right here. Say your dog's name. When he looks in this general vicinity, give a click and a treat or a mar verbal marker and a treat. Do that over and over and over and over and over again. Practice it with light distractions, then practice it with medium distractions. Get back, um, take the distractions down a notch and then add some distance. Practice it a few feet away. Practice it a few more feet away. Take little, little, little baby steps until you can have your dog 20 yards away, you can say his name, and he turns and looks at you. So, there was a bonus in there. So we've got four things. Let's go over them again. Zen, which is where your dog figures out, I just get more good stuff if I lie here on the floor, or if I sit here calmly, so why would I do anything else? Polite greetings, which is where your dog has four feet on the floor or is in a sit when someone wants to pet him or her. Loose leash walking comes in at number three might be higher depending on your priorities. A dog that doesn't pull is amazing. And people will see you walking down the street and be like, why can't you do that? And they'll say that to their dog or maybe their kid. And number four, name and attention. We always want a dog that looks at us and prioritizes us over the distraction on the other side of the yard. Have a great day. This was your training tip for today and we'll see you later.